everybody. Uh, it's time for another update video, and I've actually started painting my jet battle wagon. I haven't gotten very far with it yet, but I've done quite a bit of work <laughs> for what you see here. Uh, basically, I'm going to be using the hairspray method again. I've coated the whole model with the Vallejo Model Air Black Metallic, and then I rusted it up, uh, and all the rust is now currently covered with paint. Uh, but what I did was, I just want to show you some of the highlighting I did on these sections. Uh, which of course was done with it with an airbrush, or specifically two airbrushes. Uh, first of all, we got. Uh, I'll show you some of these highlights. The base color is Vallejo uh, model color red. It's just called red. It's actually not very red to me. It's more like it's very similar to the GW Micrite red in color. And then I did a highlight of bloody red, and then a final highlight of uh, red orange. Model Air light red, I think, is what it is. But. Uh, yeah, it's, it's, it's like a nice red orange, about the same color as the blazing orange, uh, except in a model air color. Uh, and of course, it's a pretty big model, so it's kind of hard to get it in the frame. Let me just show you where I'm at with it. Uh, let's see here. This is probably the easiest way to see the, the shading of the got it going here. It's kind of highlighted each panel, each section, uh, separately over the entire model. A shot in the back. I kind of got like each piece highlighted separately. See here in the, uh, the ladder, the front of these things here, uh, shaded and highlighted. And just highlight here on the top of the reinforced ram for here. So yeah, that was uh, quite a bit of airbrush work. Probably about four hours total work with the airbrush. Um, the base coat of red wasn't too long, of course, because it was just a base coat, but then going over each individual area, first with the blood red, a few coats, and then the uh, the, or the red orange. Uh, just, it just took, it was quite time consuming. So yeah, I've made quite a bit of progress on it. Driver finished. Here we have Mr. Driver, which is just done up basically like every other orc I have. So I'm going to be doing some, of course, chipping and weathering on this thing. It's not going to be as extreme on the weather chipping as I did with, like, say, the Flacka truck or even the war buggy. Um, I'm just kind of keep it to the primary areas, uh, mainly here, mainly in the front, front of the jet engines. And then on the plank here where the people will be walking in and out and on the uh, boarding, boarding planks. Um, all those areas will get heavily weathered, uh, but most of it won't be as, definitely won't be as much as other, uh, the other two projects I've done with the same method. But yeah, I really like how the highlighting came out. Here's the, I don't know how well it's going to come out on camera, but see like there on the top of the turret. This was done with the. Uh, it wasn't even done with a good airbrush. I mean, I did the base red and the bloody red with my Harbor Freight airbrush, uh, and that worked out really well. And then for the last color, I, I went down to my master brush with the point two tip, uh, which I'm finally gonna be able to get it by point three tip. I'm getting a new O-ring for that, so I'll use the point three tip in my master. So that'll probably become a much more useful airbrush. Uh, but as soon as I get but I do have another airbrush now. I have a Badger, which I won from the um, SMA Forum Spring Contest. I got a Badger Patriot. But I need an adapter to fit my air hose. That's why I haven't used it yet. So I've got that on order from eBay. So hopefully I can use my Badger soon. If that uh, works out well, then that'll probably become my primary airbrush. I don't know, it depends on a lot of things. I have noticed that the Master Airbrush is quite a bit heavier than the other two. Uh, but it's definitely more comfortable to use than the Harbor Freight. Uh, the Harbor Freight is, is light, but it's got a, the uh, trigger is pretty small, so it kind of wears on your finger over time, which I found as I was working on this. Uh, but it does have the big jar, which really helps when doing uh, base coating, uh, having the big jar that attaches as a suction feed. So that's going to keep being used for that, if nothing else. And then the Master and airbrush and the 
badger airbrush will be used uh, depending on what I need. The master will probably be used for the very finest details because it will have the point two tip with the uh, uh, micro air control valve. So, but yeah, this is going to be probably not done anytime soon. I've got, it's just kind of a low priority project. I just needed it painted for the uh, free bit of forums challenge. So that's what I got done uh, with it so far. So yeah, that's the update on the Jet Battle Wagon, and there will definitely be more to come. I just don't know when. Thanks for watching.